Hey guys, it's Will from Exonarian, and today I'm gonna to show you how to bypass the adaptive ride control on your 19 to 22 and a half GM 1500 truck using our UberDSS ARC. Open your hood and make your way to the battery. Remove the negative battery cable. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications with the bell icon. This will help keep you up to date on new releases from Xnearing and Shocksims.com. Now that we have pulled the negative battery cable off, um, we can go into the underhood fuse box and go for fuse 56, which is actually down this row and on this little T-junction of fuses, the second 15 amp. There we go. And we're gonna take this fuse out and leave it out. We don't need to put it back in because we want to leave the suspension control module unpowered. Then we can take this and close it back up and go into the interior of the vehicle. All right, now we're going to get into the driver's side of the vehicle. Make your way into the footwell. To the left of the brake pedal bracket, there are six connectors for the body control module. Unplug connector X6, the pink connector. Now you will posi tap the blue and white wires to the blue and white wires of the pink connector. Pin 24 for blue and 25 for white. Here's the diagram. Like I mentioned in the intro, this version of the OBDSS ARC will only work on adaptive ride control GM 1500 trucks from 2019 to 22 and a half. Using this VIN check, you can see if your 2022 GMC 1500 truck is an older 2022. On the Silverado High Country, the fifth digit will be a W for two-wheel drive and a Y for four-wheel drive, while the Sierra Denali will be eight for two-wheel drive or nine for four-wheel drive. With the PosiTaps firmly secured, we can now plug X6 back in. We need to pull this fuse panel cover off. We'll start pulling from the bottom down here. And then once it comes off, we just toss this to the side. All right, we are at the fuse panel. We're gonna see all these little openings right here. All these are 12 volts. Um, we can stick this applied 12 volt wire into any of those. I'm just gonna go into that top first one right there. This is what the supplied 12 volt wire looks like. The socket is a rectangle shape and that will fit around the 12 volt pin. Just like that, and make sure to run uh, the wire down and around and away from all the clip slots that you see here and there and up here. Um, so when you put the panel back on, you're not pinching the wire because it's not going this way or that way. It's going down towards the footwell. All right, so we're gonna do the ground lug. We will need a seven millimeter socket. So you can loosen this. Once that bolt is loosened, we want to stick the ground lug in between the metal and the black plastic bracket. That way we're getting a nice metal to metal contact and we're getting good ground. Tighten that seven mil. There we go. Right now that we have a reliable ground and our switch 12 volts, um, we can connect the two pin part of the or harness to the two pin dongle that we hooked up to the pink connector. So that's gonna be these two black connectors. Um, slot them in like that. And then push the gray tab to lock. And then you can tuck uh, the whole unit up into the footwell here, um, away from any moving parts, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions at all or need any more support, you can call us via our phone number or leave a comment here in the YouTube video. We're here to help.